Hey, what's up? Coming to you live from my hotel room corner. <laughs> I'm on the road right now, and I thought, what a great time to talk about my new little road warrior, the 13-inch M1 MacBook Pro. I got a bunch of people on Instagram sawing that I got one of these. Sawing, sawing's not a word. Saw that I bought one of these, and I just want to talk about it a little bit and my thoughts after about two weeks of ownership as a photographer. Um, so yeah, that is my job. I'm a photographer and a filmmaker. And so when I'm traveling, I'm working for clients doing news, doing commercial clients, doing all kinds of different stuff, but I'm generally editing and doing some things on the go. I had previously a 2017 15 inch MacBook Pro, which was totally maxed out. I had like everything you could put in that computer and it ran great. It ran great. Wow, English today. It ran great. And uh, I love that computer, but I only had a 500 gigabyte SSD and I was coming to the Super Bowl this week and I knew I was coming to the Super Bowl this week and I often run out of space on that computer when I'm doing assignments day after day after day. Now, of course, I can bring external hard drives, all of those things, but I also have the second problem of battery life. Um, a lot of events lately haven't had power outlets. That's become a bit of an issue for me. So um, I cover the NHL. NFL, all these things, and if you don't have a plug, you could be there for 6, 7, 10, 12 hours um, at these events, and you know, I knew with the Super Bowl coming up, there's a good chance I'll be filing from the seats, the seating of where the fans are, which is the case. I, I have found out now that I will be filing from the seats, so I knew that I wanted to get a new computer that had better battery life, and this is certainly it. <laughs> I've been taking this on a couple little overnight stays. Uh, a couple little trips here and there, and it is just phenomenal. I actually took it on a two or a one night trip. Didn't bring my charger, so I brought the laptop, no charger. I watched a movie when I went to bed. I put it on for like three hours. Woke up the next morning, closed it, so it was running kind of all night. Uh, then I went to the job. I ingested some video footage. I was doing a commercial video interview, uh, so I interviewed or imported a couple feeds of video, some audio did a quick little sync up, did some color grading. After that, came back home. Next day, did a little bit of work on the laptop. Look up, still at 60% battery life. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It had been off charge for over two days. I'd worked on it. I watched a movie on it. I checked some emails here or there. And then the next morning, here I am doing some more work on it. And I just realized I haven't plugged this thing in in 48 hours. I worked on it a bunch and it still had 60% battery life. A couple other times I used it, um, I used it nonstop the one day on the inauguration. I was doing some remote editing for a photo agency, and so we were on a Zoom call. I had Slack going. I had a couple web browsers going. I'm editing photos, and I did that for about seven, eight hours on that shift, and my computer was still at 20%, and that was pretty intensive. Uh, Slack and Zoom going with a video call, uh, That was I was pretty impressed by that, so it was pretty nice to have that. On my old computer, I'd be lucky to get through about three hours of that, two to three hours was my old kind of benchmark of where I was at. So uh, right off the bat, battery life's been incredible. Uh, I, I just continually blown away. Every time I take it out, I rarely plug it in now. I'm, I usually always have my laptop plugged in. I only unplug it to go to the couch. Now, plug it and charge it, and I leave it unplugged all the time. So that's been really, really nice. I don't even think about battery. Speed has also been the second biggest thing everyone's asked about. It's been great. <laughs> So right now, for those that don't know, these computers, the M1 MacBook Pros, they run on a new processor. And by new, new is maybe not the right word, a different processor. So basically this is pretty similar to what's in my iPad over here. Um, it is based on Apple's technology, it's called ARM. And it's not Apple, Apple isn't the people who make ARM, but ARM based, Apple has designed the silica in this computer so it's all like an integrated chip, so to speak, uh, which historically is kind of how Apple used to run before they did at Intel. They used uh, Motorola chips or Qualcomm uh, back in the PowerPC days. And uh, so they're kind of back to that way of doing things. Um, there's a lot of tons of reviews everywhere, but the short answer is this is really fast. <laughs> it's like really fast computer. Um, I've never had a 13 inch MacBook Pro. I've always had 15 inch MacBook Pros. And I love it. It's super quick. It's easily as quick as my old computer. It's actually most likely faster in all ways, but I'd rather under promise. Um, I'm really, really impressed with the speed. 
Uh, most notably, though, is a lot of apps right now are kind of running through a little translator program because they're not natively updated for the M1 processing yet. They're all in beta. They're working on it. They're getting there. So they're working, but you're basically going through like it's going through like a translate system to get to what you're actually doing. So there's a little bit of lag. I was actually just watching a test today and somebody said they they ran an app natively and through that translation software, I think it's called Rosetta Stone 2, Rosetta 2. And um, basically they saw about a 30% difference in speed uh, for a native app versus a you know translated app or whatever you wanna say. Uh, so that's to say, <laughs> this feels faster than my old computer and it could theoretically get 30% faster once the Adobe software and stuff like that is updated, which is really, really exciting because it's, like I said, already pretty quick. Other than that, it is a regular 13-inch MacBook Pro. They didn't redesign this computer at all. Um, so I'm already missing my extra USB-C ports, my Thunderbolt 3 ports, whatever you want to call them, the, the extra two that I should have on this side. I'm grateful to still have a regular headphone jack. I'm going to use that a lot this week when I'm editing videos here in my hotel room. Um, that's gonna be great to have, but it is just a normal 13 inch MacBook Pro. There is allegedly a 14 inch and 16 inch coming later this year. So if you're not ready to upgrade, probably wait and maybe get one of those. So the 14 inch should be a similar size to this one, but have uh, less of these bezels, you know, at the edge of your screen. And that's really nice. Um, but then the 16 inch will obviously probably be pretty similar to now, except well, better, <laughs> new upgraded version. Um, I might actually, dump this one to get one of those if they're a really big upgrade, but don't really plan to. It'd have to be a pretty big difference for me to jump ship on this one, I think. Using it has been great though. The screen size is a little bit smaller than 15 inch. As I said, I'm not used to that. I found it to be pretty comfortable so far. Um, the keyboard on this computer is actually amazing. It's really, really nice. It's one of the newer keyboards. Uh, my old one had the butterfly or whatever, the one that was kind of problematic. I had it replaced once, never gave me problems after that. Um, but it didn't have the, the feel that this keyboard does, which is, I really like this one a lot. Um, that's been a really nice upgrade for me. Now, as far as compatibility and things like that, I haven't had any major issues. Well, I've had one major issue, but um, Adobe products work fine. Photo mechanics work fine. Basically everything I need day to day works perfectly, which is great. Um, the big things being Adobe Premiere, um, Lightroom, uh, Photoshop a bit, things like that. Photo Mechanic is my main thing that I use every day. It's working absolutely fine for me. So the one major issue I've had is that you cannot calibrate the screen on this computer. And what that means is I use an X-Rite calibration puck and I run it through X-Rite software. Um, and basically that calibrates my monitor. So my greens are green, my reds are reds. And while the screen might look great, it's not maybe color accurate right now, which is really scary to me. Um, I'm always really hyper accurate with my colors. Um, and because of this, um, I'm a little bit hesitant. I'm gonna have to rely on some other methods I know. Um, but anyways, you can't calibrate the screens in this right now because there's a known software change or something, whatever you wanna call it, that basically the software can't see the monitor. So whether you have an M1 MacBook, MacBook Pro, um, or the M1 Mac Mini, all of them can't be calibrated currently no matter what configuration you're running. Um, buyer beware on that. Allegedly, X-Rite is gonna update it in the next month or two, according to their website and their support that I contacted, but that has not happened yet. So we'll see. Overall, I cannot recommend these computers enough. I am completely impressed. I kind of jumped in two feet first. I waited for Adobe to say it worked. <laughs> and once Adobe said it worked, I put my laptop up for sale and I bought this. Um, it's the cheapest MacBook Pro I think I've ever bought. Uh, I think I paid about 1800 for this. I did the one terabyte, 16 gig um, model. So I kind of maxed out all the speed things and I got a one terabyte SSD. And that's probably overkill for most people. I end up in a lot of these type of situations though, where I'm in a city for like a week making work. And it's really nice to have the peace of mind that I have a terabyte of storage in case something were to happen. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out my little trip to the Super Bowl this week, head on over to Instagram and give me a follow on there. I'm Brett in real life on there. And I just said on there like too many times, so we'll let you go. Thanks for watching.